Hey guys, my name is Anthony and I'm the author of Script Ninja, which is an online tool for web scraping. If you don't know what web scraping is, uh, it is basically a way of extracting machine readable data like JSON data from websites built for humans. Web scraping is not easy and since I'm a big fan of low code projects which allow me to do more while writing less code, and since I was spending a lot of time writing scrapers and doing repetitive tasks related to this, I decided to improve my life by building Scrape Ninja. And now I'm so excited to share with you guys how Scrape Ninja can vastly improve your experience of creating and testing web scraper without even opening your code editor. You just need a web browser and that's it. So let's get started. You probably know there are two major approaches to scrape websites now. Uh, the first one is to use a lightweight networking library like Python requests or Node.js node patch package. And the second approach is to use a full-fledged browser like Chrome and just control this browser with your code, for example using Puppeteer or Playwright libraries. Lightweight approach is an order of magnitude faster, but unfortunately it is really hard to scrape a lot of websites with it nowadays, especially the ones that are trying to prevent you from scraping them. The Puppeteer approach is more flexible, but is uh, very slow and resource intensive. And it also takes much more time to figure out all the issues related to running real Chrome for web scraping. And now I want just to show you a very quick overview of how Scrape Ninja Sandbox is useful for you. I have just opened the Scrape Ninja website and this is a very quick overview. As I said, I click Scrape Ninja Sandbox here and let's say we want to scrape Hacker News today. I click the quick example of Hacker News. Hacker News is a pretty simple website to scrape. And the most interesting part here is this extractor JavaScript function. It was, it has been written by me and I just put it an, as an example. And I, if I click scrape button, I will see the hacker news HTML here and the result of extractor work here. So I basically got all the JSON data I needed and the best part is that Script Ninja has just generated a JavaScript code for me. I can just copy paste this code to my Node.js server and execute exactly the same request from my server. Okay, Hacker News was a simple website to scrape and it didn't require you to launch Chrome engine under the hood, but what if we top it up a notch and let's try to scrape a much harder website to scrape auto.de search results let's say we want to scrape cars from the search results and take a look here this example has a value.js checkbox checked and this means that scrape ninja launches the real browser here But the best part is that all other settings are pretty much the same as in first example. Number of retries, proxy gal. There is a new field called wait for selector, which helps Chrome to understand uh, if we see the good HTML of the target website. And here is our extraction function. The syntax is pretty much the same for both Scrape Ninja engines. You can see that there is a Cheerio here and we extract everything here. Let's try to launch this scraper. And this scraper launch took a while, it is 15 seconds and this is because we were using a real Chrome under the hood. It takes much more time, much more resources, but the best part is that we got all the results we needed. Extractor function worked fine and since we launched the Script Ninja real browser, we can also explore the screenshot of the scraper work. And the screenshot looks good. 
now I can get the JavaScript function that Script Ninja Sandbox gener generated for me and put it to my server and use it in my systems. Uh, this is pretty much it. There are so much more in Script Ninja. There is a separate sandbox to test the extractor functions. There are a separate form to convert curl requests to Script Ninja code, but I will tell you everything in the next videos. So just subscribe to my video channel and thank you. Bye-bye.